Hey, and welcome to another Automation Guild podcast. I'm your host, Joe Colantonio, and today I've got some awesome news to share. Automation Guild 25 registration is officially open. Now, if you're like me, you know the world of software testing or automation is constantly changing, and staying ahead of the curve isn't just a nice to have, it's essential. And that's why I'm so pumped about this year's event. It's packed for actual tips, tools, techniques, strategies, and mindsets and automation to help you navigate 2025 with confidence. And here's what makes Automation Guild 25 unlike any other event. And in this podcast, I'm also going to share with you some teasers for some of our upcoming speakers at the next event. But first, you might be asking, what makes Automation Guild 25 unique? Well, here's why I think it's unlike any other event. It's not just about attending sessions for a week and forgetting what you learned. It's all about delivering year-long value for your ticket. Let me break it down. You've got around 40 actual video training sessions, complete with live Q&A. And don't worry, if you can't make every session, you'll get lifetime access to all recordings, transcripts, and resources. Beyond the event, you'll learn continually with monthly live training sessions through what we call our Test Automation Accelerator Program. And exclusively for ticket holders, I'm introducing the Automation Guild Jobot, your personal AI-assisted training on all AG25 content. Imagine having 24-7 access to revisit tips, techniques, and answers from any session, anytime you need it. And I think this year's lineup is awesome. The topics were voted on by you, our amazing community. And here's just a taste of what's in store. I'm Jason Arbin. We're going to talk about how AI is invading the world of software testing at the Automation Guild Conference. What I love about this conference is the topics are decided by the community. We're going to have AI testing agents test over the conference website. During the conference, the community wanted to focus on accessibility testing, data management, and APIs. Uh, rumor is mobile is going to be big someday. So we'll cover how to test responsive websites visually and make sure that they look good and how to use AI to test native mobile apps. It can't be easier to sign up. You just have to click an orange button, come back in a few weeks, and you'll see tons of real-world practical advice on how to test software and how AI can help with your software testing. Are your Cypress tests breaking bad? If your test suite has become sluggish, flaky, or a maintenance nightmare, you may be falling victim to common test automation anti-patterns. Hi, my name is Anna Patterson, and in my session for Automation Guild 2025, we'll explore the top pitfalls automation engineers encounter when writing Cypress tests. From overlying on the UI, and using arbitrary weights to brittle test data and poor test isolation. We'll dive deep into how this anti pattern is creeping into your tests, how they lead to frustration, and most importantly, how you can fix them. You'll walk away armed with best practices that will boost the stability, speed, and scalability of your Cypress test suite, ensuring you never fail into the same traps again. Although we'll focus on Cypress, the principles and strategies discussed can be applied to other test automation frameworks as well, making this talk valuable for any test automation enthusiast. Thank you, and see you at the Automation Guild conference. Hi, Joe. Good morning. Uh, my name is Mohammed Jassim Munir, uh, and you can call me simply Jassim. Um, I'm head of engineering in a move here in Dubai. First of all, thanks uh, for organizing this big conference. And uh, and uh, I'm I'm not sure if I'll be eligible for being a being a speaker in this conference. However, the topic which I have chosen for uh, this conference is um, the career growth in automation. Why I have chosen this topic? And uh, why I feel the guild will get benefited from this topic because uh, I haven't seen uh, the, the clear expectations framework for automation engineers uh, or a career growth framework for for them or uh, or opportunities for them to grow to uh, bigger uh, managerial roles. The maximum growth which I have seen in my career, and I have grown. Uh, those uh, those individuals as well. For example, people are tra transitioning from. Uh, QA analyst to automation and then senior automation engineer, staff automation engineer, and then it, like usually in startups or uh, medium sized 
company it stops over there because really principal automation engineer is not required until unless they move to another big a uh, uh, big tech giant so um why i feel people will get benefit from my topic is that i want to cover um and i want to convey the the, the message to to the skill that what kind of skills they need to uh, they need to acquire what kind of capabilities they need to build in 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 their not only their personalities but also from a learning perspective which can help them uh, pursue for um uh, for, for for this particular career path uh, which can help them to uh, to grow towards the, the more bigger managerial roles my name is david inger I'm a senior estet with many years of breaking tests, but also fixing them. Test, fail- test failures are going to happen, whether it's because of test flake or real actual issues or a bad test in general. We all have to spend countless hours debugging them. So in this session, Gotta Fix Them All, Optimizing Debugging Automation Tests, look at We'll look at how you can reduce time you spend troubleshooting by introducing a structured step-by-step approach delivered through the lens of one giant Pokemon metaphor because Pokemon is awesome and why shouldn't fixing automation be awesome too? We'll look at how one can reduce the time spent blindly guessing when it comes to failures by asking the right questions initially, stating you countless hours, uh, getting to the actual core problem. For flaky tests, we'll also discuss some tips and strategies that you can uh, consider and implement long term. So uh, that way you aren't just repeating yourself, you know, fixing the same thing over and over again. You know, that way you aren't just repeating yourself, fixing the same thing over and over again. See how terrible that is? (laughs) So join me and let's discover how we can fix them all and improve our automation skill sets together. And I hope to see you there. Hello, everyone. I'm Dimpi from India, Bangalore, working as a quality analyst at ThoughtWorks. I'm really excited to tell you about this session I submitted, Optimizing Performance Testing with Smart Workload Modeling. So in this session, I'll be sharing how to design realistic data-driven workload models to make performance testing more accurate and meaningful. Using CaseX tool, I'll show practical steps to ensure performance tests reflect the real-world user behavior and align with the business goals. Why will the guild love this session? Because it's packed with actionable insights that can be applied to projects, helping prevent system bottlenecks, improve scalability, and deliver better performance results. Looking forward to seeing you all there. Thank you. Hello, Joe and the Automation Guild. Uh, My name is Felipe Correa, and I am a software engineer from Medellin, Colombia. I'm excited to participate in the upcoming Automation Guild conference to talk about creating a testing ecosystem. Um, In my session, we'll dive into integrating test automation across different tools and departments within an organization. I'll discuss strategies to create synergies between different systems, making information more accessible to stakeholders, of all technical levels and disciplines. And we'll explore how to build a unified testing ecosystem that enhances collaboration and drives efficiency. I look forward to sharing these insights uh, with all of you and helping you transform your testing processes. See you at the session. Bye. Hi, everyone. My name is Pooja Jagani. I'm a lead engineer and a developer advocate at Browser Stack and also a core computer and maintainer at the Open Source Project, Selene. Uh, today I'm pitching the idea about how Selenium Manager is the super mushroom boost uh, to your talk race tests. Now, why do I say this, right? So imagine you've written tests um, that work well on your machine with a browser on your machine. And we all know with Selenium, you got to use a web driver. That's a separate test setup that you have to do. And all goes well uh, to set this up, but your test fails. You figure it out. There are different variables and the tests start passing. You hand it over to your sister team and they go like, hey, it's failing for us. Or it's probably failing in the CI. And at this point, you wish there was a way to have a consistent test environment, right? And that's where you start thinking on about containerization, that how could you possibly dockerize the tests? And 
it's not that difficult to dockerize your tests. You need to understand the Docker concepts, have a compose file, and understand your steps. But the hard part is the test setup. Right? And that's been a complaint of Selenium for years, where you have to go figure out which browser version do you want to work with, which browser do you want to work with, get the browser specific driver, uh, hook it all up, make sure it's on the path. There are 10 ways this could go wrong. And at the same time, it could also happen like browsers release the version so fast. Okay, there are always an experimental version, so new stable versions coming in every four weeks or so, uh, or even probably fortnightly. And at that point, it gets so difficult to keep up with each browser version um, and upgrade, upgrade your drivers. There's an entire process to this. So you wonder, if your Docker is my tests, how can I still do this? The test setup is just so, so hard. Even if I dockerize my tests, I have my scripts ready, I'll have to go update it every few weeks. And that's just not practical. Imagine all the time you would save if you didn't have to do that, if something else could do that for you. And that's exactly the magic you need or uh, probably the magic you'll get to know about in this talk. And that is Selenium Manager. It does all the heavy lifting about managing your drivers, browsers, getting the latest one. Um, you can really pick up a clean slate like a brand new OS and just set it up for you without have you having to do any work at all. And imagine the time you'll save to do important things like testing. And that's what my talk is about. I'm going to talk about Selenium Manager and why it's magical in its own way and how it makes dockerizing your tests easy. And it's going to be less rambling and more uh, demos and code focused. And uh, again, I'm pro open source. I'm an open source contributor. All the code that I'll be showing as a part of the demo will be readily available for you to go around and play with. And I'll be always available on Selenium Slack after if you need more help on this. Happy testing. See you guys around. Hey, I'm Scott Moore, and I want to tell you why my Test Guild 2025 presentation is going to be so awesome. If your company's operating within a DevOps model, but you're struggling with performance issues, it may be because you haven't made performance a non-negotiable in your DevOps pipeline. DevSecOps attempted to take security and infiltrate every area of the DevOps pipeline, and it's had some good success. So I want to talk about DevPerfOps, which aims to weave performance considerations into the entire software development lifecycle. And the new DevPerfOps Foundation has been formed to create a community around performance, set standards, make education available, certifications, and even have a conference. So if that kind of thing interests you, then join me at the Test Guild 2025 conference, and I'll see you in my session. Hi, I am Tony Ramchandani, and I'm excited to invite you to my potential session at Automation Guild 25, where I'll be introducing an essential topic that quickly reshaped the world of AI and QA, the vector databases. As AI continues to evolve, traditional databases just aren't enough to handle the complex, high-dimensional data, unstructured data that drives modern systems. Enter vector data databases, a, a critical tool that that is becoming a backbone of advanced AI applications like recommendation engines, image search, NLP, video generation, and many more which we can talk about. For QA professionals, now it's time to learn about databases, these databases especially, before they become the industry standard. In my session, we will cover the basics of vector databases, databases what they are, why they are important, how to implement them, and how they are different from traditional databases, why one must learn about it. You will walk away with understanding why QA professional needs to get ahead with this trend and how learning about these databases can future-proof your skills in the world of AI. Don't miss out this opportunity. Stay ahead in the rapid changing QA landscape. I'm looking forward to share valuable insights with you and helping you prepare for the future in the world of AI-driven technologies. See you, at, see you at Automation Guild 25. Bye. And that's just the beginning. we got sessions on debugging flaky tests, introducing end-to-end -end testing for your software development lifecycle, and much, much more, including sessions on performance testing, security testing, accessibility testing, and risk-based testing. I guarantee there's something here for everyone. Whether you're just starting in automation or you're a seasoned pro looking to sharpen your skills. Now, if these sessions weren't already enough, we've added some incredible bonuses this year to keep your momentum going all year long. You'll get access to our private Automation Guild community for 24-7 networking and support with your fellow software testing professionals around the world. We also have monthly live training sessions with 
the Test Automation Accelerator Program from March to November of 2025. And of course, my personal favorite, we're introducing the Automation Guild, Jobot, your AI assistant, ready to help you with all the AG25 content. And with all these sessions and bonuses, I think you have everything you need to stay ahead of your career in 2025. So what are you waiting for? Don't miss out on our early bird perks that are going on right now. And once again, here's what you get with your registration. Lifetime access to all recordings, resources, and transcripts. Year-long learning through live training in the Jobot AI Assistant, plus an awesome, helpful community of like-minded professionals to grow and learn with. So head on over to automationguild.com to secure your spot and start 2025 with a bang. So whether you're a tester, developer, or automation engineer, Automation Guild 25 is your chance to level up your skills, connect with experts, and future-proof your career. Until next time, keep learning, keep testing, and let's create reliable and less flaky automation testing together. As always, test everything and keep the good. Cheers. Thanks again for your automation awesomeness. For links to everything of value we covered in this episode, hand on over to testguild.com forward slash A525. And if the show has helped you in any way, why not rate it and review it in iTunes? Reviews really help in the rankings of the show, and I read each and every one of them. So that's it for this episode of the Test Guild Automation Podcast. I'm Joe, and my mission is to help you succeed with creating end-to-end, full-stack automation awesomeness. As always, test everything and keep the good. Cheers. Hey, thank you for tuning in. It's incredible to connect with close to 400,000 followers across all our platforms and over 40,000 email subscribers who are at the forefront of automation, testing, and DevOps. If you haven't yet, join our vibrant community at testguild.com where you become part of our elite circle driving innovation in software testing and automation. And if you're a tool provider or have a service looking to empower our guild with solutions that elevate skills and tackle real-world challenges, we're excited to collaborate. Visit testguild.info to explore how we can create transformative experiences together. Let's push the boundaries of what we can achieve. With lutes and lyres, the bards began their song. A tune of knowledge, a melody of code. Through the air, it spread like wildfire through the land. Guiding testers, showing the secrets to behold.